Today, we're going back in time to look at some cop watchers and First Amendment auditors. When I first started watching the cop watching channels, I couldn't believe my eyes. There were actually cops that were mean to people, and you didn't have to show your ID unless they had reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime. I learned so much, and I could not wait to pick up a camera. Back in the day, if we found a cop watcher or an auditor that had stolen valor or any kind of other bad things in their background, we quit watching them. Today, trolls, they have channels too, and they have one that has stolen valor. In my opinion, he must have been a failed auditor because he's just so jealous of everybody. Just to let you know, I have a teaching certificate and I never had sex with kids. All you gotta do is Google it. But that guy really has stolen valor and he's a failed auditor, in my opinion. So check out these OGs and leave me a comment on which one you think was the best. Today, everybody knows that a cop has to have reasonable, articulable suspicion of a crime before he can find out who you are, but they're public officials and they have to ID. But back in the day, no one could believe that we could say no to an officer if he asked for our ID. We didn't know it was written in the law. And as soon as people found out that you could say no to a cop, everybody wanted to try it. So here's some OGs at their very best. This is James Freeman. Can I go now? Right, but here's the issue. You can give us your word that you're not going to go back there. Well, it doesn't matter. If an officer contacts you there later, right. you need to document it. Well, no, at that point you get my you ID. There and you are not welcome there. At that point you, you get my ID. Leave. See all these cameras? He's got one. Is yours on? Is yours on? Is yours on? Is yours on? Mine's on. It's actually live right now. There's 290 people who know that he's telling me and that you're telling me. They all know who I am. Hell, you can go look it up with the FBI, okay? They all know who I am. If I go back on the property, there's going to be no question about who's on the property. But, but besides all of that, it doesn't matter. Besides all that, you don't have a lawful right to get my ID. Again, you're, you're, we're, how long have we been here on an unlawful detainment? If you're going to do something illegal, just do it so that we can all move on. We have a lawful right to identify you. You can try and convince yourself, but your qualified immunity, immunity will be gone anyways. Okay. You can convince yourself of whatever you want. I will put your name personally on the lawsuit if you violate me. I'm just asking you not to. I don't, again, I don't go around trying to sue cops like a lot of people say. I go around showing and exposing that they, they violate the law and that there's almost no repercussion for it. Okay? I'm not here to sue you guys. Let's walk away and end this. How about that? But we need to ID you. Because well, I already told you, to I already told you I will not voluntarily give up my rights. If you're going to violate me, you have to do it yourself. Okay. All right, go ahead and turn around and face the face. For me. <clears throat> I'm just going to get your ID out of your pocket, okay? All right, so he's going inside of my pocket. And this is officer. I'm not, I don't have any weapons either. I'm not going to hurt you. I already told you earlier. I don't think you're violent at all, man. <clears throat> so he's going, find a peaceful oh, dude, there is something in there that'll poke you, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Those keys. Where's your ID? Anyway? I can't tell you. Sorry, man. You're going to search me. You got to do it on your own. So is your name James? If you're going to search me, you got to do it on your own. James Springer. Is this date of uh, Springer. Yeah, James Springer. If you're going to violate me, you got to do it on your own. So I got all these guys around me, and they are taking my ID. He reached inside of my pocket. He pulled my wallet out. He searched my wallet. He pulled out an identification card. Is that my Costco card, man? You, you spend as much as you want on there. I get points if you spend it, okay? It's fine. Yes, I recommend you get the Red Bull there. What's your name? Scott. Scott, what's your... Ren, W-R-E-N-N. W-R-E-N-N. I can't believe you did it, dude. Oh. You got you, man. You know your qualified immunity is gone on that, right? You reached inside of my pocket. You didn't just do a pat down. You reached inside of my pocket. You took my wallet. You pulled my ID out because I recorded on a public building. If you're not doing anything illegal, you don't have to follow any of their directives. People were surprised about that, too. They couldn't wait to try it. Uh, he said you've been parked in front of his house. You were parked in front of his house for about an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Is that suspicious? Yeah, that, it's kind of strange. What's going on? Nothing. Just sitting in my car. Okay. Do you live here? It doesn't matter. This is public. Okay. You got your ID on you? I'm not getting ID'd. I haven't committed a crime. Why would you I need my ID? Because I this is a, Have I a private a crime? this is a pretty quiet neighborhood. Okay, is this a public place or, or a private place? It is a public road, correct. Okay. Thank you. Am I if I committed a crime by sitting here? No. Okay. Then I would not like to ID myself. Because it's my right to not ID myself. 
What, what, what is the issue here? There is no issue. I'm over here minding my own business, sitting in my car, and you're coming up to me. Correct. Because yeah. I'm getting a call. It about doesn't you matter if you get a call. I've done nothing illegal. People can call all they want. Do you call? Do you, you run out and talk to everybody that's parked in their car? Uh, when they've been sitting in front of a house for an hour and a half, I generally do. Okay. Well, I'm not doing anything okay. illegal. I'm trying to be very respectful to you. I've done nothing wrong. I'm not committing any crimes. I'm sitting okay. in my car minding my own business. I think you've sufficiently checked out that there's nothing wrong. Do I look like a criminal? I don't know. I don't know where you live at. I it don't doesn't know who matter you where, are. It doesn't matter where I live. Why does that matter? You know, the criminals could be... Uh, I've, we've got a guy in Tulsa that was driving a 2019. Do you suspect me of a crime? I suspect that you're in a neighborhood where you don't belong. Okay. And so why don't I Because they don't recognize there? the vehicle. I'm why just trying to figure out what you're doing here. It's none of your business what I'm doing here. I don't have to tell you what I'm doing. Okay. There's nothing illegal about what I'm doing. This is not a private neighborhood. I'm not in a gated area. I didn't pass any no trespassing signs. I'm on a public road minding my own business in my car. Okay. So leave me alone. All right. Okay. You're dismissed. Thank you. Uh, no, that's not how this works, but okay. How you doing? What really makes them mad is the silent treatment, not answering them at all. They can't stand that. So we're actually police officers that work out here for security. And hey, someone just reported that you were taking pictures. There's not, there's no crime in walk, riding your bike or walking on the street taking pictures. Uh, are you, uh, is this just something you're interested in or what brings you into these neck of the woods? Now, you're not in any trouble or anything like that. Someone just called and was, thought it would look suspicious in the day and age of if you see something, you're supposed to say something. So, uh, are you from around here at all, or what's your yep, name? Yep, in that day and age, this guy's gonna get madder and madder. Watch him accelerate. Again, you're not in any trouble or anything like that. Somebody just reported it, and I thought I'd come out and touch base with you. Do you have something with your name on it I can see, or is everything okay? Are you having a medical issue or anything like that, or is there anything I can help you with? Or you just don't want to talk to the police? Is everything okay? You can record and do it all, what you want, young man. You're not in any trouble. Would you mind telling me your name or? Alrighty, well, if that's the way you want to play it, that's fine. Just be careful when you're doing your travels and make sure you don't encroach on the ADM property because if you do, we'll have to call Mark's squad car out here and we'll take it from there, okay? Have yourself a good day. Um, it's not a big deal. Oh no, but it's not again, over. You don't have to give me your name if you don't want to, so. Yeah, I appreciate that. And again, you don't have to give me your name, you're not doing anything wrong, I'm just trying to document what's going on here as well as you are, so that works pretty good. Name and badge number? Officer Boyer, B-O-Y-E-R, Cedar Rapids Police Department. And again, so we got uh, multiple reports of suspicious activity. You're not doing anything wrong, but again, in this day and age, if you see something, you say something. Um, I got like two different reports on it, so Again, you don't have to give me your name or any information like that. You're not doing anything wrong, but just for documentation purposes, just like you are, I did the same. So, um, again, Officer Boyer, B-O-Y-E-R, Cedar Rapids Police. Have yourself a good day, young man. Take care. Coming down to us. Uh-oh. Yeah, this is classic Johnny 5 and when I first saw him do this, I thought for sure he was going to get body slammed, but it didn't happen. This is Johnny 5 and Ghost Rider. We'll go over to Janice. Okay. We'll hang out with hey guys, her. We don't... We don't mind you being out here, but if you continue to film cars, we're going to have the police come and remove you. You can't film private cars leaving our building. You have no right to film private cars. I don't care so if you take then, pictures of the building. Go comp watch later on. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so can you do me a favor and stop filming cars? You can film the building all you want, but don't film cars. Okay? Does that so sound good to you? What time do you usually wrap up? So you're, you're not going to acknowledge me? 
You're gonna wait till the cop comes and asks you. Alright. Oh, it's been a lot. I mean, I got up late today, so it'll be. Hello? So. How are you? Same time you think we'll go pick up Eric. Let's see if we have enough time after this. What is your name? Probably about 3 o'clock now, so. Yeah. Can I help you guys with anything here? And then we'll hang out and chill. We'll get some food. Get some more of the other guys together. Yeah. Can I ask yeah. you why you're filming this building? And uh, who else is going to get the house? You know? All the regulars? Yeah. All the regulars. What did we get to see Eric? Yeah, we haven't seen him yet. No, haven't. Can I ask you why you're filming the building? So, what time do you usually go out and you go out then? About nine. Back in the day, the original cop watchers started finding rude cops. Who would have thunk? Rude cops? Rude to the citizen? No way! But yet, there they were. And I couldn't wait to pick up a camera and find a rude one of my What's own. What's the problem? I just want to check your ID and make sure you're not related to this. Uh, I, don't, I already told you I don't know that girl. Okay, do you have your ID? Sir, uh, it must have, have I committed a crime? I don't know. I don't know if you're related to this person or not. I already told you for a third time I'm not. Okay, do you have your ID on you? Sir, I, I invoke and refuse to waive my Fourth Amendment right. I have every right to be here. I have every right to video record and take pictures of everything here. I understand that, but until I figure out who that person is and who you are... That has nothing to do with me, sir. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. I don't know that person. Fourth time telling you. Then why are you videoing them? Because I have every, it's my First Amendment right, sir. My First Amendment right, and I invoke and refuse to waive all my rights. Do you have your ID? Sir, have I committed a crime? I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to figure so, that out. Have a good night, sir. Okay. What's your name and badge number? Mm -hmm. What's your name and badge number? That's nice. Huh? That's nice. What is your name and badge number? A public official in uniform must ID themselves upon request. It's all on my uniform, sir. I can't you're see. To get it from me. I'm, a, I'm asking you, what's your name and badge number? So you refuse to identify yourself? Yeah. You don't want to give okay. me your ID. I don't need. I'm to not a public name. official. I don't have to. You're. You a, read. It's right I, here. I can't see it, sir. I'm no, asking I'm you. Sorry. So you refuse to identify yourself am, right yes. now. And it's your policy. It's CMPD's policy to That's identify policy. yourself upon request. You work for CMPD. That's nice. So it's your, the policy Is to identify yourself. And there's that walk of shame. Leave me a comment and tell me which one of these you laughed out loud at or which one you liked the best.